Hello Aries, this is your January 15th to January 31st, 2017 read. For the main read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. There's the back of that deck. And for the advice cards, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I'm using the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. <laughs> well, so this card's coming out of the bottom of, uh, if you can see that if I do this right, of the Magical Spell Cards. It's abundance. It's really good. The reason it's kind of making me giggle is because um, the Queen of Cups popped out, I don't know how many times, when I was shuffling the, the tarot deck. These are only two cards I have up so far, but I feel like they're basically saying there's a lot of love around you. You're looking for love. You're getting love. You're very happy. This is a great time for you. So things are going great for you overall. So that's good. Um... <clears throat> Good. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So we got a lot of cards popping out here, but I'm feeling like it's a progression of events here. Um. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. There's a lot of abundance for you right now. A lot of love. I feel like you're putting out a lot of love. You're feeling very loved. Something is interesting here, because as you start this time, like, and these go see, like, one after the, the next, you're starting off feeling very active. Like, this is, this is, like, a lot of action between you and the other person. I feel like, um, whether this, I feel like it's about love. Whether you be single or in a relationship, it's going pretty much the same way. You and the other person are very active. So if you're starting to date someone or you're already in a relationship, things are going well, things are moving forward, you're very active together, you're very happy doing whatever you're doing, and the home situation is very secure. Okay, so this is, a, this is how it's going in the beginning here. Um, and I'm not sure if it's like the 20th, between the 20th and 25th, somewhere around there, things seem to be a little different. <coughs> um, that's when the environmental things happen. There's something happens quickly environmentally, like really fast there's a change. And when that change happens, like the other side kind of moves away. And like things, like I'm getting separation cards. On the environmental side, I'm getting the um, six of... Swords, which is someone moving away on the in, on your line of secession, right above it. For what's happened for you, I'm getting the um, three of rods, which this also in this case makes me feel like I'm moving away. Like there's a separation going on here, which makes me wonder because <clears throat> I feel like this makes me feel like there's a separation between you and this person, but you're still flying high on the time you had spent together earlier in this time frame. So I don't feel like there's a, a devastation going on here. I do see, though, that there's a change. Like, we, you have the death card right after it, which makes me feel like there's definitely a change here. Below that one, see, you got... This is interesting, because right below the death card and the environmental section for the person around you, there's the star card. There's a definite change here. Something is definitely changing. Um, and something is different. Something is definitely different. Now, it's going to depend on your situation. But something is pulling the two of you apart. And you're not around. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna get too defined with it because it's going to depend on your situation. And I don't want people getting too excited about certain things. But it's definitely like a separation between you and this person. You're just, the, the, for some reason, you're just not together or not together at hardly, no, there's a separation. There's a definite separation between you and this person. Um, it's a change to the relationship. I don't feel like this person really likes it, though. Like, the change is not something they wanted to happen. It's a quick change and it had to happen. 
But it, like the four of cups below it makes me feel like they're really not, they didn't really want this to happen this way. So whatever happened, they didn't really want it to happen that way. Um, as we go next in your line of succession, we have the Hermit and the Justice card. We have a lot of major arcana. So there's a lot of introspection and a lot of like, what's fair, like trying to figure out what's fair. I feel like that's more what this is saying right now, like trying to figure out what's fair. I was expecting more to come through. There's like, there's something, something's a little off here. Cause like something is weird. Cause right above that we have the 10 of pentacles and the two of cups, which these are both great home cards, great love cards. And this is on your side. So I feel like you're not lacking in love. There's a lot of support around you. A lot of people looking out for you. And I feel like there's the love is in your court, but I also feel like you're spending time alone so the separation, whatever's going on, you're coping through it and you're dealing with it. And there's a lot of people that you love taking up your time and keeping you occupied during this time. But I feel like the other person kind of feels like, you know, it's not working out the way they want it to. But I, I, I'm also feeling like there's not a lot of choice in the matter. Like it has to happen. Something is in effect. Um, <clears throat> in some situations, it's, there's travel involved. I almost feel like the other person, if, if it's a relationship, the other person is in another, like, has to go take care of someone or has to work an odd shift or something. And they just, they're not, it's almost like they're not there. They're, like, so occupied or they're taken away. Some people are actually traveling away a couple states in a sense. Or it feels like a, a distance where they're actually not even home if you're in a relationship. They're just not home when you would normally see them. And I feel like you're coping through it. You're, you're dealing with it as necessary. I mean, in some cases, this does this does have a literal meaning, and I hope it's not in your case. Um, it's definitely a change, though. Circumstances are changing. I'm thinking there might be something, something happens, and the other person is, to, they're occupied in another sense around you, but and this is what's changing the situation. There's an event, something happens quick, and it's a general read, so take it for what it is. Um, I was going to pick up another card, but I'm getting, nope, everything's here that we need to see, so everything is here. <laughs> so there's a lot of love around you, the home life is good. If you're single, I'm getting more also, if you're single, I feel like this starts out really good, but something else gets your attention, and the change is that you were having a great time, and you had a great time dating this person, but you're, you're, you're moving on to something else at this point, and you're fine, and you're moving on to another dating opportunity, and the other person was more connected to you than you realized, and they're just not really happy that you moved on, but it's working out the way it should. Okay, <clears throat> so I know in the beginning I said this it seems to be going the same way no matter if you're single or you're in a relationship, but I feel like the relationship, something's pulling you apart and you're just not seeing each other as much. Something happens fast, there's an event that causes the other person to be taken away, uh, and they're, they're just not home very much, and it's almost like you're living on your own. <clears throat> and they don't really like it, but you're coping with it, there's family and friends help supporting you and helping you get through your side and the other person is doing what they need to do. If you're with if you're single, I do feel like there's a someone you're dating in the beginning of this time frame. And you have a great time, you hang out, it's a good time and it's great. And you like you like having the good time, but somebody else gets your attention and then you move towards that person and you leave this other person behind and they're just kinda like a little annoyed at that. They really want to keep seeing you. It's just that you've kind of moved on to other opportunities. But it's working out. It's working out like it needs to. It's like, I, I, like it really wasn't that great of a match. It was a good match in a certain sense, maybe a physical sense, but like there's certain things that did not match. So that's fine. Okay, so either way, 
the overall energy for you for this time frame is a lot of love, a lot of abundance, being taken care of. The first half, you're having a great time. The second half, if you're single, you're moving towards someone else. If you're in a relationship, there's people around you keeping you occupied so that you're not too bothered by whatever the circumstances that change things. Um, if you're with somebody, though, I feel like it's more of an event that happens. I feel like it's something where the other person has to go and take care of somebody else or take care of a situation. Or there's some type of weird schedule change, something like that, where they're just not around as much as they like to, and they're not happy about it. Uh, but it's not yours, nor they're under either of your control. And you're coping with it best you can. You're just kind of rolling with the punches, and they're just kind of a little annoyed with it. I feel like they're more likely to gripe about it, even though there's nothing you can do about it. But you're, you're aware that they're not happy about the situation. But you're like, you know what? It is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> That's your January 15th, January 31st read. If you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email at jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.